hey everyone creative winners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and we have created this beautiful sales dashboard here which is very beautiful and interesting interesting because it has these four donut charts and these are looking very beautiful and if you want to know how to create such kind of sales dashboard then watch this tutorial till the end and one more thing I have created these donut charts but you can replace these charts you can add bar charts stacked column charts pie charts you can add any chart you want here so this is a, uh, just a way to represent data and I hope you will like it so let's start without wasting any time so now we have this blank spreadsheet here so select here and select this color filler fill this color and go to more color here and move this slider towards the dark color here and now it is looking much better now we will insert a rounded rectangle oops go to illustrations shapes and insert a rounded rectangle here like this and drag this yellow dot towards the right to make it more round now we will fill a uh, gradient color here let's remove this gradient color which i've already filled we will fill it again with our own choices of colors go to more colors so we will fill the gradient colors in this pattern we will start with blue then we will fill all these bright colors till this green so let's start with this color okay let's pick this blue then select the next gradient stop now we will apply this this looks better now apply the third color here go to more colors and this red is looking nicer select this go to standard let's pick let's pick this orange color here and add one more gradient stop go to more colors now pick this yellowish color here and select this last gradient stop and we will fill a nice green here and i think we should add one more gradient here select add this gradient and let's add this color so now our all the gradient stops are in line and and make sure you have them at some angle here so let's use this angle here so i have kept 45 degree angle here so our gradients are ready and our background is almost ready let's move this outline here and one more thing we have to do here is go to format shapes go to effects option shadows apply a shadow effect increase a blurness up to 20 points and change the black color to something like this as you can see the purple shadow is visible here as you can see so now our background is ready just control select this shape control c control v now we have duplicated this shape we will slightly reduce the size place it in the center let's fill this white color so that we can easily differentiate these two shapes place it in the center select both the shapes align center align align middle we have to let's increase the width of this background shape and now it is looking much better so let's reduce the roundedness a bit let's keep it like this so our 
background shape and area is ready no format shape and we will apply a nice metallic gradient to it let's move this stops here and add gradient stops again on the first gradient stop apply white color on the second gradient stop apply a light gray color on the third gradient stop apply this first gray hair on the second on the fourth gradient stop apply white color on the fifth gradient stop apply this gray color on the last gradient stop again apply white color so now we have this metallic kind of shape here so our so we have to adjust this gradient stops so that it is looking perfectly fine and more realistic so it is almost ready now we have to uh, update the shadow color here we have to keep it black let's increase the blurness a bit so our this shape is ready now we have to insert the four pie charts for that four donut charts for that we have this data so let's select this data first go to insert recommended charts all charts go to pie chart and select this donut control x and control v let's place it here remove the unwanted items here reduce the size here as we have to fit in four charts here let's further reduce the size go to format remove outline remove fill and select this shape go to format data and increase or decrease the let's keep it roundedness you can keep it 70 percent so go to fill remove the border color no we do not need any border colors click no select this as well select no and first select this area apply gradient color remove all these gradient stops as it picks the previous gradient color on the first gradient stop again we will do the same thing we will start from here pick this color on the second gradient stop pick this color now this remaining area we should do something let's try something else. let's try to fill pattern here and for that we have to add a foreground color then a background color so it is looking much better now let's reduce the size and also reduce increase the donut hole size let's keep it 80 percent 80% is fine. Select start. Go to effects. Apply shadow effect. Increase the blurness a bit like 15. And the chart is ready. Now you have to do one more thing here. That is slightly increase the size. As we'll, we will fill the information inside the chart here. So let's keep it here now what we will do is right click and save as template so let's save is save it as our 
do not chat save now mouse over this area and it says 87 percent so we will write 80 percent 87 percent here so we have to insert the text here insert text box and write 87 percent we will increase the height of 87 font size select all place center right select agency fp press bold let's try impact font no so agency f is fine increase the size slightly reduce the size here let's keep it like 16 and go to format remove its outline remove shape and we will fill the text color as gradient color as we have filled on the chart let's give it a nice angle here let's keep it 225 degrees and let's do the same for this chart here let's keep it 25 degrees and now it is looking much better and we will have to write product A at the bottom again insert text let's write um, like okay let's write here laptop Let's write laptop in caps. Laptop, it will look much better. Agency FP, reduce the font size, change the color to like this gray center and go to format, remove outline, remove shape fill. So let's place it here. This font is not looking good. Let's change this font to open sense. Now it is looking much better. So our first chart is ready. Now let's select all these three items and you have to group them together and you have to similarly create three other charts now i have created four copies of this chart and paste it here so now let's change the value for this chart as per our sheet now let's select this and as you can see the formatting has changed and for that right click change chart type go to templates and here is our donut chart which we had saved as a template select this and it will come back to normal let's write here desktop now mouse over this value here with this chart and it says 77 percent let's write 77 percent similarly for the third chart select data select this one click ok right click change chart series type templates our donut chart mouse over 67 let's write here tablets tablet and similarly for the fourth chart select data select this value here right click change series chart type go to templates select this template mouse over it says 57 right mobile now what we have to do is we have to change this gradient color here and We have filled these two colors now we will fill this color let's pick this color on one and on the second gradient stop let's fill this red color similarly select the third one here 
on the first gradient stop fill this red color and here you can fill this yellow color and on the last chart again select this one you can fill like this color and on the second print stop you can fill so our sales dashboard uh, design is complete and I hope you like this design and if you think it is uh, really beautiful and interesting for you then you please hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comment section below also please subscribe to our channel that will motivate us and we will bring out more such stuff and thank you thank you and have a nice day bye